Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. For this video, we will add the similar fractions using diagrams. For many of us are visual learners, so it is better to understand these fractions using these pictures. Since one-fourth and two-thirds are the similar fractions, our goal is to rename these fractions to similar so we can add them. Okay, let's draw first the one-fourth. You have to bear with me. We'll divide it into four equal parts and then we will shade one-fourth of it. Okay, this is one-fourth. And now we are ready to draw the two-thirds. Okay, let's divide the whole into three equal parts. Let's shade two parts. That's one and two. Now we'll draw again a box to represent this one. Next, we will follow the number of lines and the number of divisions of the second fraction. So we'll just follow that. How it is divided. So it is divided by three parts. Okay, that's it. And then we have to color it just like what we have in the one-fourth. That's it. Okay, we'll count the number of shaded parts. That's one, two, and then three. It means this is three shaded parts out of 12. Okay. This time, we will draw another box for this because we will rename this also just like what we did in the first fraction. We will divide it into three equal parts. We will have to follow the one at the top. So, and this time, we will follow the number of lines and how it is divided in the first fraction and the number of divisions that we have there. It is divided into four equal parts, so we will just follow that. That's it. The next thing that we should do is we just follow two-thirds how it is shaded. So, we'll just shade this one. We will just count the number of shaded parts. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. But we have eight shaded parts out of twelve. These two are already similar fractions and we can add these two fractions because they have the same denominator. Now we can do this way. We will make another box. And we will follow how it is divided and shaded. In the first box, we have three twelves. We have to shade three parts of it. So that's going to be here. One, two, three. And in here, we have to shade eight parts. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. So if we're going to count the number of shaded parts we have, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. It means our answer is eleven twelves. And that's it. Let's have another example. We have here three fifths plus one half. Let us first draw three fifths. It's divided into five parts. And then we'll color three parts. Now let's have the one half. We'll divide it into two. Color one part. Well, let's make another box just like what we did in the other example a while ago. We will just follow this box. The number of 
parts we have in here and then we have to follow the number of lines we have there and the number of divisions and how it is divided okay then we will shade just like that we have at the top now it's we will count the number of shaded parts that's one two three four five six if i'm going to rename this fraction it will be six shaded parts out of ten now let's do the second box we will rename one half but first we have to draw this one we will follow the one that we have at the top and that's its one half and next is to follow the number of lines we have here in the first fraction and the number of divisions and how it is divided we will just follow that and we will just shade and this is going to be let's count that's one two three four and five it means if we are going to rename one half that's going to be five shaded parts out of ten now we can already add these two fractions since they are similar they have the same denominator now we'll draw a box that is divided into ten equal parts because we have denominator of ten and then we will shade six parts for the first fraction one two three four five and and this is the sixth and and we will shade five parts for the second fraction one two three four oh that's only four we need one more so it is locking we need to have one more shaded part it means we have to draw another box just like what we have there And that's it and we will shade one more okay that's it we'll count that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven that is all 11 shaded parts and if you're going to write it it's going to be 11 tenths or that's one hole that is being shaded and then one tenth that is so easy for us to visualize and arrive at the correct answer that's it don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful Till next time!